Grace and peace, people of Rose Park. Again, welcome to another weekly study through God's Word. In this season, we've been going through the book of Proverbs. Proverbs falls into the wisdom literature category throughout the Bible. And today we turn to Proverbs 22, the first half of Proverbs 22. I'll be reading from a unique edition of the Bible, though. This is the book of Proverbs from Alabaster. And throughout it are beautiful images and pictures to help bring you to a space of worship. My wife got this for a gift for me, and I've absolutely loved going through it. And I'd encourage, if you're able, to look up other uh, books from Alabaster through the books of the Bible. As we prepare our hearts to go to Proverbs 22, would you take a deep breath, ask for wisdom, and join me in prayer? God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we seek wisdom. Wisdom not for our own benefit, but for the benefit of your kingdom. Not merely to improve ourselves, but rather to serve in your kingdom and remain faithful to you. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and our minds for all that it is that you desire for us to experience. It's in the name of Jesus we pray, and let all God's people say, Amen. Again, this is an invitation for us to saturate ourselves in God's word. So whether you're on a walk, sitting at your breakfast nook, or enjoying this with a friend or family member, hear now a word of the Lord. Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. The rich and poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will come to an end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker, and fighting goes too. Quarrels and insults will disappear. Whoever loves a pure heart and gracious speech will have the king as a friend. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the treacherous. The lazy person claims, there's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a dangerous trap. Those who make the Lord angry will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but physical discipline will drive it far away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Again, the overarching and repeating theme of the book of Proverbs, as well as a theme that's made very clear in the book of Psalms, are these two paths. The path of the, the, path of the wise and the path of the foolish. The path of the righteous and the path of the unrighteous. Here again, in the former half of Proverbs 22, we are given two different paths, the path of the wise and the path of the foolish. But one particular aspect that Proverbs 22 brings to our attention is that the path of the wise cares for the poor. The path of the foolish and the unrighteous brings about injustice to the poor. If you and I desire to follow the path of the wise, of the righteous, of the, the godly path, then let our eyes be opened to the injustices of the poor so that we may advocate for them, care for them, build them up, and seek to love them as Jesus loves us. 
We can't find ourselves in the kingdom of God if we ignore the injustice to the poor, the broken, the left out, the looked over, and the least of these. Thanks so much for joining us as we dive into God's word. We look forward to doing it again with you next week. Grace and peace, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday.